don't fall on me again. Cause you know, you fell. Give me a little bit more. Hey everybody out there on YouTube, welcome back. Done a lot on this this week and yet it looks like I haven't done anything. Bunch of little bits you're about to watch, so check them out and maybe at the end you'll see what's going on right here. But don't fast forward to it, because you'll have to watch how we got here. And if you do, you missed all the fun. Don't forget to ding the bell so you know whenever the next video comes out. And I really appreciate everybody that's sharing my videos. It's actually pretty cool that you all like what I'm doing. So, keeps me going, I know that much. Well, back at it. I, uh, I forgot to do the, the V thing here, so we're gonna make that happen real quick. I put a two bars going up like this. I made myself a little template. I'm gonna trim it down just a smidge. Clean out the car. Did a little bit of cleaning in the garage too. Oh yeah, there we go. center, line it up with a transmission. Because if that's not center of the car, I don't know what it is. Finding the correct angle has always been my downfall, so I make this little cardboard template or CAD, and because the flat bottom's flat, that's what I'll do my saw, my saw to. And then this guy up here, is different. I don't know if you're even on camera. Yep, cool. I gotta cut those two. Camera in the way. Sorry, everybody. And you won't see this side either. I can't get a camera over there, so you know. Fold.
nip this little guy right off here. To fit. Got that angle right there. It's a little bit too big on this side. I think whenever I drew the line, my paper paper crumpled here and I didn't realize it. But that's okay. We can make that change. So I think what am I because it definitely doesn't fit this one. It's way too wrong now. But I can always trim that off. You go there, and you go there, and voila. I'll clean them up, but I don't know if I'm going to weld them in yet. See, this floor is not attached. And I don't want to attach this floor until I get some of these wheel well sections. There's a hole here, and a couple of small ones down there, and I still got to build the rest of the wheel well. So, I'm going to get cleaned up and set down. They're not going to be welded in yet. I have to grind this one just a little bit. And then I'll finish tacking it on. Remember, these two things aren't structural. They're just making a box. Fire hydrant, toolbox. Simple. See if I can get these guys out. I need this crowd. This is the crowd. Haphazardly cut it out. I'm kind of regretting that I did so bad on it before. Um. But I need it because it's all the right shaped metal. So yeah. And dandy pounder. See what happens. It's gonna be a lot of fun because I gotta pound against nothingness. Okay, this looks like it's going to be one of those battles with a lot of PB blocks for a lot of time. Thankfully, I can see the other side of this side. But it's completely rusted. Oh, that's already knocking itself out. Yay, not. Oh, that is stripping itself out big time. That is a soft metal. Lucky me. Oh, it just stripped. Okay, well, this metal is so soft, it's not like the doors. Ah, ah, I'm feeling it. No sense in fighting that. It's They're so soft. They're way too soft. Will give me as far as I need to for now. Hinge points, of course, this is the top. Hinge points will be important, but nothing I can't recreate. So if I can't get those drilled out and saved, they'll be in the middle anyway. So I'm gonna have to remove like a big chunk of this, just like nine and a half inches, just like the other thing. So let's do that. That metal was just soft. It it drilled through like it was wasn't even there. I'll have to uh, recreate all that. 
It's okay. Just learn the lesson next time you cut up a car. Don't be so haphazard about it. Oh, let's go see how this works on there. So my guess is it's way too big. Let's just see how big though. Oh yeah, way too big. Way too big, okay. This guy can come off. This guy fits there. This guy fits there. Straighten these two pieces out. Pinch these together, weld them. These are still pinched, so I'll be able to hold them together with that. And then recreate them. So the idea is figure out the length from there to there, and then remove it identical from the middle. What I think I might do is remove this, the catch. I'm not using this catch. The door's going to open sideways, not up. Uh, but it's a part I could save, sell, trade, whatever. So if I cut this, if I remove this and then cut it directly in the middle, I could weld this side on and then figure out where this one goes and weld this side on and figure out just like I did the roof. Instead of recreating it over there and hoping that I get it right over here. Um, yeah, shrinking the door is going to be a lot of fun. Not. I think that's what I'll do. In fact, I might just cut because that that's a good what? Eight nine inches. So I'll just I'll just cut on either side of this. Boom boom. And then see where I'm at. Totally dude. Fix all these little Bends and then blast them or hit them with the sander, hammer, all that good stuff. Spray the rust reformer inside of them. Might as well before I cover it all up, right? That is a. That's where I'm at. enough but it's a start Let's see what these look like okay here we go this guy it's clearly this guy Color me confused. Oh, haha! -ha. This. Woo, yay! Rusty present! Well, that's a lot of fun I'm gonna have to pick. Joy. Okay, that's why I couldn't find the notch. That goes there. That is a perfect fit because that's where I cut it off from whenever I cut it. So, past Jason was a dunce. Okay, then, once I get that one in place, I will install this one. But see, now they're only four inches over. So I think what I need to do is get this cleaned up and installed, and then find the difference and fix it. This one's going to be more work. So this one, ta-da! Clamps, clamps. Well, now that actually looks pretty, pretty good. A little warp right there, but nothing a bang, a bang, a bang, boom, a boom can fix. 
Okay, let me straighten this puppy out. And then we'll start doing the major mesh of the tube. Yeah, it feels like it's like a hair too high. But I know I messed this side up, so we could probably always just lift it up. I'm going to give a quick tack to these two, because as you remember, they were split. So I'm going to tack them right there and just hold them together so that whenever I start working with this side, they don't want to splay out on me. How to make this piece. Out of this piece. I guess the key will be to get this line as perfect as possible. Ha ha! I'd say that's pretty darn good. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Apparently I made a hole right there whenever I chopped it. But that's not bad. I'll, I think I'll weld it on this side because it'll be an easy cut. And then I'll pull these two together. If I have to break this weld, and that, those two tacks, it might work. Nice. So here we are. Kind of knew this would happen. Kind of planned for it. Straight line means way too tall, but that just means that that's twisted in a little bit. So I'm going to get this welded. Then I'm going to break the weld on the outrigger, shift it, tack it here, and then re -weld, re weld it on, let's say that three times fast, re weld it on the outrigger once this is back in place. If I have to break this side too, I will. So I did not make these tack welds on that side. Guess it's glad I didn't. I just tacked them in there. So I can always break those two tacks and the outrigger if I do them one at a time to get this to shift. Because it's 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 pinched this way. Like instead of straight over there, it's pinched this way. And I'm not welded the roof up yet. Because this was gonna be my uh my uh self-centering part. So there I am. Time to tack this in place. Oogie noogie! Let's see if I push this down, which means that wants to go out. I have to break that weld, and then make sure all this up here stays. As long as I don't break those welds. It wants to go now. It's twisting. I don't know if I can force it there. Honestly, didn't think I'd need all this piece. I was thinking about just making the door and then no engine down, no engine area down here. On the flip side, I may still make all this just removable, but not a door. Like make it a hatch. Uh, but I would need this all built anyway. So this door's got to fit. That's what this is. I may or may not use this door down here. I may just cover it. Because the bottom of the car is right about there. Not using these lights. So. Oh, getting so close. That corner right there. Okay, I think what's going to be done. Oh, that's not going That's it. You may not see it on the top, but the bottom is lined up. 
and the clamps in place. I tore that because you know what? Saws always go. Blah, blah, blah. That's better. Smooth. Right along the gutter. Okay. Let's show you what I'm talking about. So this is past Jason was a bad guy. What a dunce. What a dunce. I cut that up terribly. Didn't even think about it. Needed to get the back off to get that piece of metal out. That side I didn't rip up because it was the second cup. That one did. Middle's great because I cut it on purpose. But look down in there. The bottom line's up. Just need to be shoved in just a smidge. I think that's more of an optical illusion because of all the bent metal. But the line, my stainless steel bar in the gutter does not flex. I'll get out the laser level, but I'm pretty sure that is still perfect. The other side's even better. This obviously won't be here when I'm done. I'll just make a band, probably of the other piece of bus rib I got lying around, to go over from the crease to the crease. And then I gotta flatten out this bead and this bead because they don't go into that roof. And they would look silly there. And I think I'm gonna call it a day. I had to fix a gasket in Huey and I'm not 100% sure if it fixed it. You'll see, you probably already saw that video. Uh, the side quest earlier this week, but I wanted to get some of this done. It's the thickness, it's the kerf of a sawzall off right here. But I must have cut a pie wedge to get this, I must have cut this way and not realize it's not working and then cut this way. That's why this chunk over here is missing. So I'm going to have to replace this whole back. What I'll probably end up doing is cutting a straight line and then just giving it a cap. But once this is in place, I will redo these. And then that way it'll strengthen it. Yeah, something happened. No, I did not put the door on. Um, I wanted to get a size for it. This is the width of the normal door, the back hatch, compared to the width of what the bus is now, which is now the panel bug. So I've got, gosh, almost a foot extra uh, the back panel will not have the glass in it. I don't want glass. I want it to be old delivery style. And coincidentally, I'm also going to make it hinge instead of up. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Not. Um, but I wanted to see this on here because this is a big step. This is going to come down the road not too far off. I may just make a whole episode on it coming up and kind of break from all of this brain because this guy is just... Cut in half, take the middle out and shrink it down. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Should be pretty simple. Famous last words, right? So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my uh, Instagram and share with your friends. Ding the bell, because you know, I like bells. Ding, ding. And we'll see you next time. Now, don't fall on me again, because you know, you fell once.